Thank you all for coming along to our 90th birthday party for a sleeping beauty here in Streatham Hill. It's 90 years ago to this very day that this theatre opened. Built in the revival period of 1928-29, grade two listed theatre has been described as unusually lavish and has, with a capacity of around 2,800, is one of the largest in London. In the early 1960s, that newfangled TV and a new game called Bingo came along, which helped lead to the closure of this building as a theatre. However, that new game went on to help save the building. Although now largely unused, much of the original architecture and the decor remain. There's a large stage with some of the original equipment, a five-storey dressing room block, uh, several bars and foyers, and of course, the grand auditorium with its two galleries. I'm now going to hand over to Simon and Catherine, and I have a sharp knife, <laughs> ready for the cake. Is this a dagger I see before me? So, happy 90th birthday, Streatham Hill Theatre. <laughs> I came here as a little boy, I was four or five years old, and saw uh, my first panto here with Jimmy Edwards, and uh, it was one of the great moments in my life uh, uh, as, a, as a theatre lover, and eventually I, uh, as a theatre maker. I've lived in Streatham for 31 years. I'm ashamed to say I've never walked through the building. I've only ever draw, driven or walked past it and just assumed, just seen the bingo signs and that's all you see. But behind here, behind this facade of bingo, is an extraordinary, essentially what we all think of as very grand, very beautiful West End theatre that's just sleeping, not doing anything at all for the local community. All kinds of marvellous things can be done with it. Parts of the building can be e easily converted into a studio theatre. Um, there's been a suggestion that uh, uh, if the Iron Curtain was brought in, the stage, which is very big, could be a, a little theatre in itself. We've only just seen the foyer, but I know the auditorium is just as equally stunning and extraordinary. There are huge spaces up here. There's bars, there's rooms for people to rehearse, to record music, to have it hidden, to have people not be aware is a tragedy, but also for it not to be used by the local community for live performance would be awful. If any tiny part of that spirit can be kept going, if, if people can again know that Streatham Hill Theatre is a place to go to, to, to get exhilarated by, it could come alive again uh, it, almost as it was, which would be very thrilling. So we see a window of opportunity to bring this grand building back to life as a multi-purpose creative centre, preserving the heritage of the architecture and activity through working with the owners, with Lambeth, the Theatres Trust and other stakeholders. However, we need now to commission a viability study for the future of this place, which will need to be funded. So today, as well as celebrating 90 years of the theatre's contributions so far, we are launching a crowdfunding campaign to set us off on our journey um, to its centenary and beyond. We call on our friends, colleagues, creative industries and, and everyone in fact, to join our campaign and support our cause through the crowdfunder by going to our website www.streathamhilltheatre.org.